So everything I talk about, I always have evidence to back it, always. So I'll start with you, Carrie Shrugs. Carrie Shrugs, I know you Scrubs. forged. I know Scrubs, I'm sorry. I know you forged your husband's will. I know your son signed it. I have it. You're a scumbag. No, really? No, no. This is, this is why it doesn't matter. Right now, I'm witnessing everything. Okay? And I'm okay with what I'm witnessing. I can testify. You're okay with forcing me to ride by. No, no, this ain't a forgery. You got a warrant in your hand that shows that it's. Yeah, for outside, brother. The warrant allows. Specifically, two things the outside and the outside. He's looking at my entire building. Tonight, we are going to witness the most anticipated match. What's up, everybody? This is going to be a continuation video of these two videos. It all started when C.J. Grisham and Jason Followell attended a city council meeting in Aransas. Are you ready? Anyways, they shut down a city council meeting. They're exposing corruption. I mean, it's just crazy. It went crazy viral when C.J. Grisham attended the meeting. So after that, it got me to start digging into Jason Followell's channel. He actually sent me an email, which is, I'll put that right here. And um, it's just crazy. Everything on his channel, he has exposed so much corruption. And every statement that he has made against these corrupt government officials, he has the paperwork and video to back it up. And it's just so much stuff that I cannot cover it all on this channel. It would take me months of work editing video and, and putting it all together so it is in very important that you guys go to his channel jason followell his link will be in the description and before we go on i just want to apologize to him because in the last video i mispronounced his name you piss me off i'll open up an eight billion dollar can of whoop ass and serve it to you and that's all i got to say about that oh, i apologize about that i will not let it happen again and that's the bottom line so where this video is going to start, because Jason Followell exposed these politicians, they weaponized the code enforcement on him. If you read the email that I posted, they said that a pallet leaning up against his business was a code violation, grass code violation. They used that to get a judge to sign a warrant and unlawfully entered his business numerous times. But that's where the basis of this video is going to be. I'll get over there and show him some support and subscribe and tell him I sent you. Let's get to it. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! I told you on the phone what I wanted to do. Is, it's totally a fresh start, what we can do. This is in your court. It's not a fresh start. I understand from your perspective. I do understand. Not a fresh start from anybody's perspective. Y'all fuck me over and over and over again. How is it a fresh start? Can, can I explain? Can you let me explain? I'm, I'm trying to be calm with you. And, and well, I'm, I'm not calm because you let him violate my family rights. I understand right. how you feel about that. <laughs> okay, but what I'm saying is, let me give you an example. When I pull a motorist over for speeding, this is my rule. I can under, I relate to this easier. And I approach the car, and the guy comes off with me. <clears throat> Let's just use you. You're upset right now. Maybe I don't know your circumstances. He comes off me like that. Does the guy get a ticket or does he get a warning? I don't give a shit. I understand. Typically, no relevance to what I'm yeah, doing right here. Let me explain. Let me get, get, follow along with it. Track with me. He's probably going to get a ticket because gaining compliance from that motorist is likely not to happen. In this situation, I know you're hot, and I can appreciate why you're hot. Okay? I want to get it done and over with. So I do go appreciate that if you let him violate Fourth Amendment rights again. When I say appreciate, I mean I can appreciate your frustration. Can you, though? Yes. Do you understand what the Constitution is? I do. Do you understand what these guys have been doing to me and nobody gives a shit? Okay. I understand from your perspective. Bullshit. The first inspection, 100% was Fourth Amendment right violations. Did you call me? You're, you're their supervisor. Did you call me and say, hey, I did wrong and apologize? Fuck no, you didn't. Okay. That's all I wanted from any of these motherfuckers in Aransas was an apology okay. because they did wrong. And apparently, and more people that talk to me, they do it to other people too that have to kick them off the property. Okay. You cannot go on somebody's property unless the owner says so, or you have a fucking warrant. And your warrant is chicken shit, talking about outside stuff, nothing about the see, inside of my gym. See, that is disputed on how they got on the property. That's why I don't want to discuss it, because it's subject to conjecture. You know from your side, they know from their side, and I'm here getting both sides. I wasn't here. So I, why would I even... You didn't read any of the blanks? It doesn't matter. Oh, it does. You no, because, no, no. This is, this is why it doesn't matter. Right now, I'm witnessing everything. 
Okay? And I'm okay with what I'm witnessing. <laughs> I can You're okay with forcing me to ride by No, no, this ain't a forcing. You got a warrant in your hand that shows that it's. Yeah, for outside shit, brother. The warrant allows. Specifically, two things no, no, no. the outside and the outside. He's looking at my entire building. That's fucking harassment, and you're letting me do it. The warrant allows us to come inside the For what, though? Search. For what? What are you looking for? It's stated in the warrant. Yeah, what are you looking for? That's my point. You've already walked through my building five We're times. We're doing an administrative inspection. We're not looking for evidence. I already did department. that five fucking times prior. Okay. It's harassment. You know it is. No, I, I don't feel that... If someone came to your house five times for the same fucking issue and walked through your house like this with police, you wouldn't think it was an issue? We're not talking you're about... You're a fucking liar. You won't admit it because you're a piece of shit, too. Just follow up. I'm done, dude. I, but I want to explain to you what... Explain to you what? Happened. You're a piece of shit. You fucking lie. You're sitting here right now and they're harassing my building. You do shit about it. I you understand they're doing it. He knows because he's nodded at me a few times knowing that y'all are fucking up. Okay. And y'all made him come here. I told you what we can do from here is what I can do. Like well, you, you can do, do it from here. Can you listen a second? Let me explain. It better be something extreme like firing that motherfucker. Then I'll listen. Was that a no? No. We'll write no. we'll report. I'll give you the report. I already have your report. I have the first one okay. that is complete. Can I finish? Can I finish what? You're writing a whole new report? Yeah, so we're getting two. We're getting two years from my inspection. Yes. There's is that a continuation of the first inspection that was complete? This is a continuation for non-compliance. Basically, is the way I understand it. What non-compliance? That was thrown out. Uh, you're going to get an inspection. And then they came and harassed me because he was told to. There's two things that happen after this. I can give you a report with a reasonable time to correct any issues, or you get a report with a clean bill of health. Or bring the fucking issues on, you motherfuckers. Or I'm not playing your fucking game. We're not fucking doing that. I don't take fucking handouts. If there's an issue, I'll fix them. If there's not an issue, I'll fuck off. Know. That's what I want to know. If there's an issue, you can correct it. Or if I feel like there's not going to be compliance, you don't want to work with me, we just issue citations. But when, I mean, the, the issue, the, he, he tried to correct the issue by going to the city council and explaining what was going on. And a week later, Oh, here we are. Yes. Okay, guys, what this citizen is basically saying is that uh, if my grass is five inches above code, the police chief and fire marshal can serve a warrant and come into my property and search it. That's not how a warrant works, guys. It does not work that way at all. Y'all are ridiculous, and y'all know y'all are. And that's the bottom line. The stone cold system. You've got a police chief that is going to cost y'all a lot of money. If you don't rein him in, you have got a police chief who thinks he's above the law, who thinks the law doesn't apply to him, who thinks the law applies to different people in different ways unequally. And I'm telling you right now, if you don't hire somebody to do an internal investigation, I personally have evidence of criminal activity. Okay. Now there will come a time where it will come out. It will come out. Y'all might want to fix it first. I should hope that the city attorney is looking into this. Um, you might want to start looking at documents. You might want to start looking at warrants. Uh, you might want to start looking at emails. All right. Because um, it might be better if y'all come out and fix it as opposed to someone in the public coming out and fixing it. So everything I talk about, I always have evidence to back it. Always. So I'll start with you, Kerry Shrugs. Kerry Shrugs, I know you Scrubs. forged. I know Scrubs. I'm sorry. I know you forged your husband's will. I know your son signed it. I have it. You're a scumbag. I know I have you on audio recording saying you would help me. You did not help me. And if you want to see a send a cease and desist, go ahead. I always have evidence. Bring it. And instead of helping me, you turn your back on me. Ram, <laughs> sewer lines at a bakery cafe get clogged. We pay for them, guys. Not him. Ram, 2016-2022. Fire code violations. Kelly didn't do anything about. Either did he because he's unethical. Sell drugs out of the back of the bakery? Mm -hmm. I got the evidence, buddy. You want to do cease and desist? Bring it. Nepotism, still in full effect. Cease and desist, can't do anything about it because you know I'm right. Blanchard knows the mayor. Nepotism does nothing about it. Blanchard, hmm. code enforcement, sent him to my property, wasn't certified, knew it wasn't certified. You modified the warrant. I got it. Knows Kelly has the same infractions you cited me on. He's not going to court. What are you doing about it? Nothing. Still sending me to court. Chief Blanchard emailed the judge on my case. Do y'all know what that means? That's an ex parte violation. He did that. Unethical. Chief Blanchard harassed Corey Elrod, went to his place of business, harassed Corey Elrod. You did it. I have it. Chief Blanchard, 2014, broke into a man's house. I have the video I have that's coming out of you breaking into his house without a warrant. Combining both of y'all because... 
Both of y'all criminal trespassed me with no evidence. Y'all both publicly defamed my character. Said I threatened to kill y'all? Really? Gary, get off your phone and pay attention when I speak. I'm timing you. I don't care. Define my fourth, you denied my fourth amendment, you denied my first amendment right. Y'all had an executive session about me on 628 right before y'all raided me? Y'all did. I'll get that too. City attorney cited that code last night in closed session to council. What code? In closed session to council? Yes, sir. Funny, because the council members called me and said that didn't happen. Okay, guys, let's show you the two plans for the liar. So this was the annual inspection. It's done every two years on 325-22. Jason Padron came on my property illegally. He was not invited. Nobody brought him on. He came in Fourth Amendment right violation. And I stirred the pot on this because I didn't agree. They admitted he came on my property without my permission. But regardless, let's keep going on. Uh, he had three issues here. Two of them I agreed with and I fixed. One of them I did not. So he came back for the third one that I didn't agree with and notice it says re-inspection, right? Because he's come back to see if I fix the third one. I still did not because there was not an issue. With that said, we took that third citation. We went to court. As you can see here, I won the court case. They said incorrect section, prosecutor discretion, it's dropped. Once that's dropped, that case is closed. That inspection is complete. Blanchard is a liar. But they came back two other times and harassed me, which isn't documented on paperwork, but I do have video feed of it. But anyway, let's get back to the rate on my business when they came back. So they came back after Corey Elrod found a pallet outside of my wall, which is outside of my gym, a lean against my wall, which is not a violation, by the way. And they used that as a warrant to get inside my building, in which you'll see later that I beat the warrant and they still are attacking me. With that said, this says annual biannual. You see that? Chief Blanchard saying this is a continuation of the inspection. Well, if that was the case, this would be re-inspection. This is a continual, just like this one. Th this is not. It was a complete, a complete redo. Sorry. It was a complete redo. And they came in there and basically harassed me. And anyway, I beat this. I beat them in court with a warrant and their rebuttal again. I'm going to beat them again because these guys do not know codes and I do. And I can't believe they're still challenging me after I just spanked them all the time. But anyway, as you can see here, Proof, Chief Blanchard is a liar, and they are continually harassing me. I beat every single time they come at me, I beat them. And he keeps repeating that they were continuing an inspection. No, bitch, no, you're harassing me, and I beat your ass. Here, after numerous pretrials, is another court case, won by Jason Falwell against Chief Blanchard. This was over the warrant, and the judge reviewed all the evidence from me, Corey Elrod, Chief Blanchard, their prosecutor, and the administrative search warrant, sworn testimony by Corey El El Elrod, as well as the probable cause affidavit executed by Cor 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 uh. <clears throat> Okay, guys, we have here after numerous pretrials is I spanked Chief Kelly. I mean, okay, guys, what we have here after numerous pretrials is I spanked Pound Cake again. This is over his warrant, and this was on May 18, 2023. Went to court. They listened to the testimony of me and Corey Elrod, the code enforcement guy, you know, Chief Blanchard, the Sam Pat, dirty prosecutor. Anyway, long story short, uh, after consideration of all the evidence, the court hereby grants defendant motion to suppress it in its entirety. Talking about the warrant, meaning all evidence seized or obtained as a result of the execution of the search warrant is suppressed. I won. Matt, the citizen talking right there, was 100% accurate. And what did the city do because of this? They appealed and we're going to another court. And I don't know, I guess I'm on my 15th pre-trial now because it keeps postponing it. Pound cake. You sent the police department to Remnant Church this week, or last week, excuse me, to harass the owners. You had your officers lie to the lady that owns the place and tell her that per a new code ordinance, she's not allowed to have the homeless camping on their property. That's a lie. The last time that code ordinance was modified was in 2018 and it's strictly for the harbor and for public property, not private property. Your officers threatened her and the homeless with citations to laws that do not exist. <clears throat> you gave them 72 hours to vacate. That's when I stepped in. <laughs> I will not allow you to tramp on any constitutional rights of any citizen in this town. I will be there anytime they call me to defend them from you. You bring continual shame to our community and our country every single day. And that's the bottom line. You know why? Yes, I do. You're damn right. Because Stone, Stone Cold, Cold said, said so. so. And that's all I got to say about that.